point. The plans of buyers exactly match the plans of sellers. At one rand, the quantity demanded is 4,800, but the quantity supplied is only 1,200 pieces. So the buyers are frustrated. They'd like to buy 4,800 pieces, but the suppliers are only prepared to produce 1,200 pieces at that price. This is what economists call excess demand, and it's equal to the difference between the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied. So, 4,800 minus 1,200 is equal to 3,600. So an excess demand of 3,600 pieces of fried chicken exists in the market. In this case, it is the buyers who now compete with one another, trying to get hold of more chicken. Upward pressure continues to drive prices up until market equilibrium is reached at a price of four rand, where demand and supply are equal. From our discussion so far, we can conclude that at a price higher than the equilibrium price, an excess supply exists in the market. And this will sooner or later put in motion forces that exert a downward pressure on prices. But, at a price lower than the equilibrium price, an excess demand exists, and this will start an upward pressure on prices in the market. We can see that there are forces that will always push this market towards equilibrium, and when that is reached, the pressure relaxes. The market naturally seeks its own equilibrium.